Okay, but this I'm back once again, and in this video, we're going to set up the Nexus 5X for the first time. Well, let's do this. So hopefully you've just watched my unboxing of this Nexus 5X. Yes, in the ice blue, or just the ice colours they want to call it. I'm not feeling too good, but I'm trying to... Trying to speak normal, so let's see if we can get through this video. So, let's boot around for the first time. Dun dun dun. Little uh, vibration there. So let's see how long it takes on for the first boot. So, yeah, I mean, um, initial impressions of holding the device, just in terms of the hardware, is it feels really nice. It feels just like a Nexus 5. Tiny little bit bigger. Just a tiny bit, but you can't really tell if you're feeling your hands, but it is actually really, really nice in the hand. For 5.2 inches, it feels more like the 5 inch one, which is very impressive. So I think it's just about to work now. I heard a little, a little vibration one there. So here we are. So yes, as we know, this runs Android 6.0 out of the box, which is Marshmallow. So let's go to mine, which is English United Kingdom. We then go to next. It's then going to ask you to insert a SIM card. Now, I'm not going to insert one for this video here. I'm going to do that at a later time. I'm going to skip that one for now. It then wants me to connect to a Wi Fi network. So I'm just going to connect to one of my 5 GHz networks. So I'm just going to put a password in. I'll be two seconds. So I've put a password in. So let's uh, see how long it does take to connect to the network. So it looks like it's saved the details. Is it gonna connect? Yep, there we go. Uh, turn IP. So there we go. Just, just gonna check the connection now. So let's uh, zoom in just a little bit while it's doing that. So, is there anything you want to know about the Nexus 5X? Again, just leave me a comment down below. You can hit me up on Twitter. So at this point, it's gonna ask you if you've got a, an old Android device. So if you're coming from, let's say, a Samsung or another Nexus, you can actually use the NFC on the back of both the devices to tap like that. So you've got two phones. So I think I'll put, say, Note 5. You tap them together. And what it'll do is it will copy all the con uh, all the details, like the accounts and stuff like that, uh, from one device to the other. Now, for this video, I'm going to set up as a brand new device. But if you want to do that, you can actually do that there. So if you do that, you won't have this next screen. This is asking me to log into my Google account. So I'm just going to log into that one as well with two zecks. So as you can see here, it's now just telling me with regards to sign into it. Yes, I accept. It's then going to go to the next section of here. So this is with regards to, do you want it to automatically back up your uh, device data, such as like Wi-Fi passwords, etc. I always tick that one for yes, just something I like. Let Google, uh, Google location helps um, help other apps. So I always click yes on that one. So if you use, let's say, a third party app, let's say, Foursquare or Yelp, you want to have that turned on. Um, improve uh, location accuracy. Again, sounds it's pretty much straightforward. I don't tick this bottom one, though. You can if you want to. What it does, it sends some information to Google every now and again in regards to what you're doing on the device. Not saying, oh, Sam's doing this and Sam's doing that. It's just some diagnostic, some information to try and help them uh, improve it for the future. I just don't know why. I just don't trust it in terms of that one. So here we can then add another account. I'm not going to do that now, so I'll click next on there. So we can now set up the fingerprint scanner. I'm going to be doing a separate video on this, but this is the actual setup when you first turn the device on. So you can unlock with a fingerprint. So let's go past this part. So to do this, we're going to have to set up a, a like a backup lock screen. So if you lose your finger, you can still get into your device. So let's go to the next one here. We can then choose a pattern, a pin, or a password. So I'm just going to do a pin for this one. And I don't, this is asking you, do you want it to, every time, time, every time you turn your device on and off, do you want it to do the pin number as well? Uh, just like the iPhone. So you can ask it to do that. I'm not bothered about that one, so that's okay. So let's put in my uh, secret pin number. Don't tell anybody about that one, please. Just one, two, three, four. It's a secret between us. And at this point, you can tell it um, on your on your um, lock screen. Do you want it to hide your information? Do you want it to show your information? I'll just not show them. I'm not that bothered because I don't have anything to hide. But if you're a bit dodgy, then you might want to hide your stuff. Now, this is where you can do your fingerprint scanner. So on the back of it is where the actual scanner is itself. So I'll show you for the first one. I will turn it over and I can tell you that I heard it vibrate. And you can see it's done the first one. So that's one. So let's get ready again. That's two. That's three. 
four, five, and six. That is it. You only need to tap it six times. It's very un. <laughs> it's a bit nervous as how easy it actually is, because the other fingerprint scanners ask you to do it like 15, 20 times to get different angles. So we're gonna add another finger just to show you. So again, show you from the top one there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, happy days. We can now click next on that one. And this is pretty much gonna be going to the end of it. It's now gonna actually wanna know what Google Now, if you want Google Now on your device. Um, I recommend having it unless you want better battery life. So I'm gonna click yes. If you want to know more about Google Now, I will put a link in the description and you can go read more about it. And that's it, it's gonna restore the phone from any previous ones, the, any previous device you've had uh, in the past with the same Google account. And that's it, you're now ready to rock and roll. So if I wanna to go to the camera app, an example is asking me, do you want to allow the camera access the device's location? Yeah, why not? And happy days, we're now into the camera app. So, that's why I left the video. Yeah, I've got it. So, so that's it, you're now ready to rock and roll. You can uh, go take your pictures, your selfies, whatever you wanna do. You can go there and go start doing it straight away. As you can see, it is trying to restore some of my applications for it now. So, what do you think? Pretty straightforward in all honesty. It's very similar to every other Android device. The difference is now we have the Nexus imprint option in there as well. Hopefully that kind of makes its way to other devices running Android uh, 6.0 and that more, more companies start using the fingerprint scanner, the official API. And as you can see, I touched it and it's actually... Oh, Boom, I'm gonna go straight into it. So for the first time, you need to put your passcode in and go straight into it. But then after that, you can just tap it, tap it, and then boom, straight into there. So I'll show you again. I'm about to touch it, so in one, two, three, boom, straight into the device. It is super, super easy. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I don't sound the best today, I'm feeling awful. I really shouldn't be shooting this video, but I figured you guys and gals would appreciate it. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. If you've got any questions, again, hit me up down below, Facebook, Twitter, all the links are in the description. If you are new to your channel, please hit subscribe. It is very much appreciated and it's free. Yay. <laughs> and go on, hit the like button. You know you want to. Anyway, people, thank you for watching and you'll see me, hopefully, in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.